You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. All right, this would be, uh, I guess this, uh, well, when you hear this, it'll be like day 16. It's day 15, oh, yeah. 14 of... Uh, it'll be day 16 for you. Yeah. I started a bit late. Just one day. I have, a, I have an asterisk <laughs> next to my standings in Sober October. And uh, I think I mentioned on the last podcast where I accidentally took some edibles, gummy peach ring edibles. Yep. And uh, yeah, this time I took them on purpose. <laughs> Not today, but the other day. I go, oh, I tried those. It wasn't half bad. Everyone's sober October is, is different. I know. Like, Artie gets sober, and it just means I'm not doing heroin as much. And then he could just sit there and just can beers all night long, and they go, oh, no, it's, he's just drinking beer. He's not doing smack at all. So, uh, hey, we have, uh, we have some, uh, couple of, uh, podcasts we did back in my drinking days two weeks ago that are very fun. We cobbled two of them together, and we're going to play those. I'll be, uh, off on the East Coast somewhere, and they, uh, Hospital for the Criminally Insane, Not Guilty by Reason of Insanity. We're going to try to get a podcast, a Halloween <laughs> podcast, about you know, people who murdered their mothers in a people? psychotic... Yeah, people. Hoping to One catch guy. a couple interviews? <laughs> Maybe stand at the <laughs> well, intake area? <laughs> hey, hey, before you go in. <laughs> or, the, or, or the people getting released. I'll stand by the big uh, yeah. uh, prison doors. That's how I imagine it. I have don't you, know. Have you researched anything about where you're going, or are you just flying? Yeah, blind? I did. I, I don't want to get into too many details. I'll, I'll I'll see how many details I can get into when I get back. If mm-hmm. I can't get him on tape, uh, then I'll just take copious notes and I'll tell you all about it all by myself. But I am bringing the uh, rig. Bingo and I are uh, leaving on a jet plane. Uh, before uh, before we get to that. Uh, a couple of thank yous. Uh, Mike, who sent us National Lampoons uh, earlier, sent me more National Lampoons and then sent me a picture of this cigarette holder. Did you see the pictures? Oh, that's the email you sent me. I thought it was that cigarette. I'm pointing to the big cigarette on no, the wall. No, no, this is a cigarette holder. I have I not seen those. It's a Mad Men era. I don't know where the pictures are. Do you know where they like are? Like Truman Capote would hold? Like, Oh, no, it's a like a holder that holds cigarettes like individually like it, you pull it out and it expands like a christmas tree yeah, with Gump, cigarettes. where is this thing I think, uh, joby, has the pictures of it. joby took Wait, the pictures he sent you a picture of something or did he, he sent send me, it like, to you? five different pictures saying do you want this yeah i want oh. it thank you mike derek uh from somewhere in the uk sent me a wolverhampton wolves kit and a flag a banner flag big flag that's that's up on a wall that won't be a wall for very long if this construction ever gets underway <laughs> and uh killer termites i had just one of the most proud moments where uh episode i think is episode 277 valentina uh was promoting her organization where she uh they help uh their lawyers that help mentally ill immigrants who are busted and detained and they're trying to deport and she helps those people in court and she came down on a working weekend and uh, had a client. Uh, they're trying to uh, 78-year-old guy with dementia that they're trying to send back to Honduras where his whole family had been killed by one of those fucked up gangs. And and uh, I go, uh, she, she needed some case uh, evidence of how shitty the mental health system is there, the... Like, she has to prove in court, like, he's facing <laughs> imminent danger if you send yeah. him back to Honduras. And I just, I go, I have one fan that I know of in Honduras. So I emailed him, searched him in my email, found him, emailed him saying, hey, here's the deal. This, do you know anyone or have you yourself ever had to go through the mental health system in Honduras? Do you have any fucking horror stories? And he goes, oh, yeah, uh, couple of my friends are doctors that they have to work in whatever the name of the place is. And so she immediately got doctors that have already been, uh, what do you call them? Officer Bob, what do you, uh, witness, the professional witness, is that what they're called in the court? Yeah. 
they've already done this. So she fucking, one guy, one killer termite I know in Honduras set the whole thing up. Thank you, God damn it. What's his fucking name? Expert witness, thank you. Shit, I don't even have his name in front of me. Well, while you Carlos think- G- Gallardo. Yeah? Carlos Gallardo. You didn't just make that up? No. Oh. That sounds like a- Well, I sent you, uh, I told him to send you his address. Oh, he did. I sent that to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I yeah. S- s- I know what you're talking give, about now. Give him the big box yeah. of uh, thank you very much. I think I have to send it to his uh, relative, but that, yeah, we'll get it to him. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the lawyer was holy shitting the whole time. I just <laughs> sent off an email. 30 minutes later, boom. The next day. She had everything she needed from you. So, yeah, you fucking, yeah, you helped save a life, perhaps. And that was episode 277. And the organization that uh, Valentina works for is the Florence Immigrant and Refugee Rights Project, FERP.org. So, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I got, I got nothing else. Gump got a job at Subway. That's fine. Subway? I mean, Subway, <laughs> Safeway. <laughs> Gump's going to be bagging in Sherry's Lane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he's going to be doing overnight stuff, stalking when no one's there. All right. that's. Uh, do you have anything, Greg Chaley? Yeah, I got something, but I, it's in front of you, oh, so I you, to, you read oh, it. Oh, yeah. This is the email. Hey, we always like to start out on a, a high <laughs> note. Uh, easily the worst was his Twitter handle. And uh, it was funny because the, the day we got this, you got this. Uh, earlier that day, I forwarded you an email where mm-hmm. someone was asking why we're not on YouTube, why we're not uploading shit to YouTube. Well, we never did that. A guy, easily the worst, did that. Just uh, He asked if he could, and of course he can. Yeah, you can fucking paint the house and check the tires when you're done, yeah. too. Of course you can put it on YouTube. But I guess he was having some bad days because later that day, we got this email from the guy who put stuff on YouTube from easily the worst. If you're reading this, I killed myself 24 hours ago. I scheduled this email, so if it didn't work, I'd cancel it. Thanks for the laugh. The last few years have been bearable thanks to everyone at the Funhouse and stuff. It's a shame I never get to meet you guys, especially I was so close and you invited me to UFC that time. I did get to see Doug in New York City on his last night. It was the best time I had in the last five years. Stay gold, guys. You are the good ones. Kyle, parentheses, Easily the worst. And his last tweet was uh, paraphrasing an old bit of mine about suicide where I said, if life is like a movie, if it sucked, you know, if you're more than halfway through and it sucked every second so far, chances are it's not going to get great right at the very end. No one should blame you for walking out early. So he tweeted, I never walked out of a movie early until now. At Doug Stanhope, at Greg Chaley, it was real. Stay gold. Sigh. At easily the worst. Well, Cy, thanks for uh, all the pro bono effort you put in, and uh, I hope your last breaths were your best ones. Uh, I don't know. Here's to easily the worst. Mocktails for Sober (laughs) October. I forgot that we had these, and then we had two great stories. Christine Levine finds another body. (laughs) And then, uh, oh, hack oddity is never without a story. So... Let's get on with the progress already recorded from back in my drinking days. Hey, this podcast has uh, Christine Levine is with us, as mm. well as Hack Oddity, Matt Becker, Chad Shank, and uh, Greg Chaley. Christine mm. Mamu, you had a great story that we taped the other day uh, <laughs> that will be at the end of this podcast, but it ran short, so we didn't want to... Uh. Like, ah, it's like 20 minutes short, and then Hack Oddity shows up while you're mm-hmm. here today, and he's got a great story from back when he was touring with Mishka over here. Uh, and I go, oh, well, since you're both here, we'll mm-hmm. put it together, and then it will seem seamless, like you're, you're right. just the second half of the podcast, the even though half. we already taped that one. Mm-hmm. We, so is how, it- see how that works out? Yeah, no. you tell him it's seamless. Yeah, <laughs> and that way but Chaley doesn't it. have to spend three days <laughs> editing it to make it seem like it's all in the same shot, because who gives a fuck? But really, they're so stupid, they'll be like, yeah, he's right. Hack, <laughs> Hack have you been on the podcast before? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's not yeah, talk we don't. about let's that. Not talk about we it. just did talk about we that. Just, yeah, let's just ignore that. Well, yeah. We made uh, lots of friends. 
Yeah, uh, we might have pulled that one. I don't know. It wasn't no- it was nothing you listeners would care about, but. Uh, so, oh my God, what is it? Okay, oh off the air. No, <laughs> seamless, seamless, seamless right. people, so I, seamless. I got it. <laughs> so seamless. He said something that the, uh, yeah. not yes. knowing that there was a friend of ours, and yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, good job. Anyway. But, yeah, good job, buddy. Well, uh, now this one's all about you. Uh, yeah, you were uh, touring with Mishka, playing a de facto part-time road manager. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the first night of that uh, that tour, yeah. you're in Phoenix. Uh, yeah. Um, we're in Phoenix, did a little gig. I only uh, know this much of the story. But oh, okay. Um, you weren't acting like you did last night. I, I don't know any of it. <laughs> yeah. I'll be funny later. Okay. Oh, um, just tell us the story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you just have to fill the first dig, 15 so minutes. The we were playing the uh, place called Plasma in Phoenix um, the day after, but we went to pregame there the night before. Had a few beers and stuff. Now Plasma Plasma's a, a gay club, um, which you know I just thought was a place where you know gay people go to drink beer. Yeah, isn't that right? That's Come on, don't I'm, act like you're but, a foreigner. But, to a gay bar. <laughs> well, yeah. no, but what I didn't, what I didn't we hear what whispers it, about your what, I, what, I didn't what is this? What is this gay club? I've never yeah. heard of that. Oh, no, oh, fully... Maybe I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so happy. happy. This one time. But yeah, so so we walk in and it all looked fairly chill to start out with, and you know, a few guys kicking around, went outside for a cigarette and a drink, and then all of a sudden, stood next to me is one dude wearing nothing but. Speedos, yeah. um, ripped, shredded. Oh, that was the picture. Right? That Someone was the, showed me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was another one, and then there was another one, and before you know it, there's like four or five guys. Sat we get it. They were all over you. They, yeah. well, of course they were. <laughs> it's the accent. It gets yeah. them every time. I just wish I could sort of pick a target. Um, well, I remember seeing the picture. I don't. Someone put a phone in my face. It's yeah. like Instagram, and he goes, uh, "Oh, so this is how this tour is gonna go." And he's got three gay boys and fucking banana slingers all around him, <laughs> and you looked happy. As I fuck. was happy. I was really drunk. I just nailed like five Long Islands in half an hour. Because is that what they're called? Trying to. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, a British term. For- <laughs> so anyway, um, we we were just chilling out and talking to these guys. You know, everything was nice and relaxed. And then Mishka um, threw one of them 20 bucks. <gasps> and apparently there was a champagne room that I, oh. I wasn't aware of, which was basically a black curtain that was pulled around the vending machines that they don't use on stripper night. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, this incredibly good-looking little brown boy um, came and grabbed me by the hand and took me back to the champagne room. Oh my god. Um, There's no champagne in there. Is oh it? god, there was, I mean, it was, it was moist. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. There was a definite dampness to the air. You could uh, probably get Gatorade out of the vending machine if you plugged it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A Gatorade room. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I go back there. I sit. Uh, I sit down on like the stool that they used to sit and play on the arcade machine <laughs> that was back there. And he comes and wait. He he he, yeah. he arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Come basically sits down on my lap. You know, does the basic butt grind stuff. Turns around and then stops dancing. Comes down, sort of like. Hands on my knees, face right up to mine, and then tells me he thinks I'm cute, <gasps> which is obviously, you know, I'd take a compliment wherever the fuck I can get one. Yeah. <laughs> and, Apparently um, on your hands and, and knees. And then just very, very, very softly brushed his lips up against mine. <gasps> and I I was always taught to be polite. <laughs> so, and... You when know, you have a hard when on. I, yeah. You know, I mean... <laughs> when you can't run. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I was a kid in the 80s, and I was told that, you know, if a man kisses you, you should always kiss him back. <laughs> so he he brushed his lips on my lips, and I didn't... You know, there's two choices. There was run out screaming like I'm on fire, or go with it. Yes, of course. Um, there's a third choice. <laughs> Let's go. Don't pa- power down. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> Just start um, singing wham. So <laughs> I, 
Are you are you uncircumcised? <laughs> well, you wouldn't be able to tell now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just state for the record that I was entirely mostly flaccid for all of this? Oh, yeah. Like, mostly. No. mostly. Yeah, I entirely mean, for part of this, I was I'm flaccid. entirely straight. Entirely My penis mostly. is confused. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, he does the brushy the lips, brushing on my lips thing with his lips, and I don't pull away, which he takes to mean fucking green light. Right, which I would. I Let's also would. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. he's going to go for the so, next yeah, twenty. He, Driving he with then, his car would take it as a green light. He yeah. went, he went in a little bit, a little bit harder, and I was making out with the stripper for a few minutes, uh-huh. who then sort of was chatting to me like I was his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and then asked me to come and watch him on stage after the dance and hang around for a while. Oh my god. So I run out of there as quick as my fat little legs will carry me. <laughs> go and grab Mishka by the sleeve like a six-year-old. <laughs> Daddy, take me home! I'm getting married! Take, Get me out of here! I need an adult! Daddy, <laughs> take, me an adult. <laughs> take me home! And But, I mean, looking back on it, I to be you know a ten's a ten. Yeah. I I'm, you know and I, a hole's a hole. I don't it's I don't I don't get tens. I got holes ten. were always holes. Yeah, yeah but ten <laughs> holes are hard to come by. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, so the, I guess the point is that I'm gay now. Yeah, uh, we saw. Wait, you, that's I what I was gonna were. say. I thought you've gay yeah. since I met you. But then yeah. I. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I said today uh, when I just got the snippet of the story uh, that uh, I go, uh, I never knew of you being one to discriminate between right. men and women. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, I not know. even bisexual. It's targets of yeah, opportunity. No, that's, yeah, yeah, but that's, that's fine. But when they're fucking ugly like you people. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, Can you believe? Can you believe? He has can, a point. Can you believe we Trump can't go to London, but this guy can come here and talk like this? <laughs> Just shows hey, I used with- to think I was gay too, but then I realized I just have trouble saying no to people. Yeah. <laughs> one just real polite. One, one Nancy dancer tells him he's cute for twenty dollars, and he thinks <laughs> we're ugly now. Yeah. <laughs> Before you switch teams, remember that wasn't how the date ended. Oh, I honestly thought this was going to be a better story. I thought um, you were going to be fucking this dude, and I'm... I'm wait, 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 go, wait, I don't go, know what to do with my heart on now. Wait, wait you thought he was to, a top? I thought he's going to get fucked by this no. dude. Oh, right. We're, we're going back to Phoenix in like two days. Listen, I... <laughs> have you been face, face, or FaceTiming? Or no, I've not got him on Facebook, him? but I do have his other friend on Facebook. Yeah, can you find so, him on Grindr? What's going on? Who has messaged me to tell me you that he totally likes me? You are totally going to fuck this boy. You, you and this boy are No, I'm not going to fuck him. What would yes. Joby would Joby think? <laughs> <laughs> what you and Joby? But then hold on, you don't know. Oh, about that, that makes sense. Oh, okay, on, never it. mind. I get it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that That's why sense. he always has that look on his face <laughs> <laughs> of all the awful things he's seen. <laughs> <It's all right>. <laughs> <laughs> Me naked. <laughs> he's fucking up there. <laughs> well, that brings us to where uh, we'll we'll do a break. And when Christine said, "I thought you had a better story." Mm-hmm. And I was going to seamlessly blend these <laughs> Seamless. two podcasts together. That's right. why I, I made was... yours last. Because <laughs> yeah, Christine's was... story that's coming up after this break yeah. starts with a dead body and it gets worse. <laughs> Please hold. Hey, hey. cocktails. <laughs> Have you heard about hemp for health? Cannabinoids are naturally occurring antioxidants and neuroprotectants found in hemp plants. These hemp plants and their products, by the way, can be shipped to all 50 states. So these cannabinoids from hemp and CBD in particular are pretty popular in health circles for their ability to help maintain wellness inside and out. The makers of Charlotte's Web whole plant hemp extract oils and capsules now make topical creams and balms. This isn't just a little bit of their premium whole plant hemp extracts added to a soothing botanical blend. This is 300 milligrams of hemp extract per ounce. That's three times more than other topical brands. CW Topical Creams also feature oleosome technology to increase absorption of hemp and key botanical ingredients. Learn more at CWHemp.com and use promo code STANHOPE for 10% off CW products including their new creams and balm. Now go get fit 
and go to cwhemp.com and use promo code Stanhope for your 10% discount. Valid until December 31st in this year of your Lord, 2018. Priceless pillow, still waiting for our priceless pillows. We got a king size and a regular. Coming. I didn't give them the address last week. I thought they already had it, so All now right. it's it's on the way. All right. Well, yeah. I've 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 felt them. I know what this is worth, and I've told you about the nest that I built for Sober October, where I put a giant. Well, it's not a giant. It's a queen size bed <laughs> in my living room, which now I've adorned with no less. Then seven comforters. There's at least 30 <laughs> pounds of blankets on top of that mattress in front of my TV with Netflix and all the things. My laptop, everything's where I can reach it. I got a cooler full of waters and uh, soda, club sodas, little mocktails, cucumber melon club soda, no calories. Yeah, I'll sit there and have one of those underneath 30 pounds of blankets. And all I'm waiting for to make the nest complete is my priceless pillow. <laughs> priceless pillow. I want to tell you about a product that will change your life. Priceless pillow is a premium quality luxury pillow at an affordable price. Unless you're completely broke, then you can't afford it. No more tossing and turning, folding the pillow up and sweating through the night. No more sweating through the night. A lot of that goes to sober October, but... Yeah, priceless pillow. And if you do sweat, it'll sop it up and it'll turn into a pearl in the middle. That's not true. <laughs> priceless pillow can solve all of these problems. See for yourself. Log on to pricelesspillow.com and put in the promo code Stanhope for 30% off your purchase of a priceless pillow. Priceless pillow is ideal for all types of sleepers. Back, side, stomach, Pillow biters. It's got a mouth guard, I think, for <laughs> pillow bite. No, it doesn't have that. They're working on that. Stomach sleepers are all in love with it. You deserve a good night's sleep, and Priceless Pillow can give that to you. It has for me. It will for it me. It will. It will. Confound you, UPS. Log on to PricelessPillow.com and put in the promo code Stanhope for 30% off your purchase. Whether you're looking for a king, queen, standard, Priceless Pillow will work for you. Priceless Pillow has a five-year warranty, it's machine washable, and it has a 30-day money-back guarantee. Log on to PricelessPillow.com and put in the promo code STANHOPE for 30% off. My bookie, that's right. Uh, it's football season, not just football season. Also, baseball playoffs, World Series coming up. Hockey is in uh, in play. Basketball, if you're desperate. Do they still have UFC or did they break oh, it? Oh, no. They, they, you've been on everything. Mybookie.ag. That's the website to go to. You want to watch the games. It's not nearly as much fun as when you have money on the games. If you're the kind of guy that likes to bet a little and win a lot, well, who isn't? If you like to bet long <laughs> shots, that's what they're saying. Bet long shots. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a $2 bet with seven teams on it. And if it wins, pays a shitload. And if it doesn't, you lost two bucks. And that way, every game is interesting. You sit there and just watch every TV. Oh, shit. Oh, they, they scored. Oh, fuck. Oh, they went for two. I got fucked on half a point on two games yesterday. It hurts. It hurts a lot. But it gives you a story. That was Kenny's bet last week was a parlay. He lost in the first game. <laughs> I don't know. But my, my actual bet of the week for last week happens tonight. It's the Monday night oh, game. Yeah. But for next week, my lock of the week is... Broncos minus three at Arizona Thursday night. Thursday night football, usually unwatchable. Everyone knows it. They do have weird uniforms. Worth putting it on to see what the weird uniform is. But Thursday night football, they put all, it's like almost as bad as London games. They put the <laughs> shittiest fucking teams. But when you see Broncos minus three, Fuck yeah, they're going to destroy Arizona. Tracy's Broncos and your Cardinals. Yeah, I bet against my team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. when it comes to money, fuck yeah, go to mybookie.ag. Baseball, hockey, primetime fights, and more. You can bet on like reality TV shows. It's crazy the amount of shit that you can put $2 on and make it interesting. Or 100 or or 1000 So go to mybookie. Mybookie is the one bet I know you'll be happy with all year round. My bookie's been in business for years and they got great online reviews. Their mobile site is easy to use. So if you're on the sidelines, now's the time to get in the game. My bookie will match your first deposit dollar for dollar, but you got to join now. 
because they're going to be pulling that offer because I'm tired of giving away the house. <laughs> All right. That might not be true. Log on to my bookie right now and double your money. Use promo code Stanhope and you'll get your first deposit match 100%. That's promo code Stanhope. MyBookie.ag. You play, you win, you get paid. Guy coming to the left again. Oh, I got one of them. Oh, Kingslayer. We've taken the lead. I got a good view right here. Oh, shit. The guy just ran past us. Yeah, so that looks pretty. He didn't come back. I'm going to hide behind these computer screens. See if they... Oh, good. Behind you, behind you. Got him. Yeah, I saw that right on. If anybody else uh, wants to be like the uh, Windian and subscribe using Twitch Prime, uh, feel free. I'm using this time to do commercials for you. Uh, if you. If you don't understand how to do it, if you already have Amazon Prime, go in the, my channel. Uh, if you're on an app, it's an information. But there's a button that tells you how to do it. It is a little bit of a weird pain in the ass, I will say. I didn't think it was going to be such a weird pain in the ass. But it's not hard to figure out. And you already gave Amazon the money, and otherwise, they're just going to keep it. So uh, if you already have it, then link your Twitch Prime and give me your free subscription. I would appreciate it. And once you do it, you don't have to do it again. All you have to do is come back in 30 days and push subscribe again. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, you do have to, to redo it every... Uh... Every thirty, but I think I think no, no, you don't have to redo it. You just subscribe. No, no, right. You don't have you, to go through that fucked up process. I, I understand that. You have that's to resubscribe. That's a one-time deal. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You have to resubscribe. There is more involved each month. It doesn't keep going. I can send an email out once a month to say you know I resubscribe. Twice. I do it once a week. Or whatever. Um, no, nah, fuck people. I don't. I don't feel hate me already. Um, no, but the other thing. Fucking... Shut up, Fury. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! So, uh, what I was gonna say before Fury kept fucking running his mouth was that if you message me through Twitch, so I can see that you're a subscriber on Twitch and just look, tell me that you want like a voice uh, memo reminder, you can put it in your phone. I will do that too, because I'm trying to show my appreciation for uh, uh, your guys' support. I'm not always just a yelling fucking asshole. Uh, only when provoked. Oh, it's that motherfucker. Chad Shank uh, is on Twitch.tv playing video games while he abuses you live on video, and it's interactive. Uh, and you get it free if you have Amazon Prime. If you don't, you're losing out anyway. You should have <laughs> Amazon Prime. Chad says they can find all the info on how to subscribe in my pinned tweet, at HDFatty, on Twitter, and on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash HD underscore fatty. It makes him money, and when he's happy, we're happy. All right, let's get back to this show, this tremendous show. God damn it. Buckle up, buttercups. He, he just, he's just, he's just, hey, here's a, here's a, a, a forced but uh, appropriate segue. Met the neighbors today, uh, the ones Ooh. who bought the house next to the Owls. Uh, uh, two doors down. Yeah. And uh, it's Virgil, and I can't remember his wife's name. They're from California, according to the plates, unless that's a rental. And I just pulled up, because they were unloading shit into the house, and I pulled up, and I just said, uh, Hey, I'm going to Safeway. You want me to get you anything? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, we're good. We, we get... Uh, uh, baby back ribs, and I go. Well, I'm Doug. We're at two twelve. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mm. I mean, it's Virgil, and I can't remember the wife's name. Karen. Karen? No, it's Tracy's not. guessing. <laughs> that was a good guess. <laughs> Why not? Speaking of neighbors, this is a just a, a a special short podcast, or maybe it goes long. We don't know. But speaking of neighbors. Mm. Our old pal Mamu, Christine Levine <laughs> is here. Yay, Christine's here. Hey, I miss you. So, Christine, I haven't seen you in a while. I, What's I new? I missed the uh, beginning. We're watching because there's no sports on at uh, this hour. Uh, well, the Diamondbacks played and they won. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then there was, uh, well, l cops, live PD or whatever that on one screen. And then 
Discovery Health Channel, I think it is. There's a just, life life channel. It was the boy with giant hands, and he had these giant hands. Don't don't mm-hmm. don't ruin the ending. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, he never does the Rubik's cube. He has slightly <laughs> smaller hands at the end. After you watch for an hour, and Kenny and uh, Chaley, uh, I'll try not to puke. I did Actually, right. this is uh, Selena tried not to puke too. At one point, I saw you pulling your shirt over your face. Oh, when they pulled the spikes out of his fingers? Oh, my God. He couldn't feel anything. They're ridiculously large. <laughs> so this other girl has, it's called the girl with half a face, but she has a face and a half, as yeah. you accurately pointed out, Greg mm-hmm. Chaley. Uh, and that reminded you, you of a story, Christine well, Levine. She, Christine Levine walks in fresh without knowing what we've just been through. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't, but I did know it was through, gross. And what she says through. is, yeah. I've been through worse. Yeah. Which, like, which I'm like, wait a minute. Do you, we just told you we yeah. saw the guy with these huge hands. Like, ridiculously And big. then the gal with a double face. face. Yeah. And then you go, <laughs> oh, oh no. I've seen worse. <laughs> no. Oh, I've been dying to talk to you guys. <laughs> like, I've been, I've been like, oh. in fact, when I walked in this woman's house, I was like, I can't wait to tell my crew. Yeah. You have to hear it's just it's disgusting and you're the only people i wanted to tell you can't tweet something like this no and i didn't i didn't not from her phone anyway a stanhope <laughs> podcast exclusive <laughs> oh god let me uh let me uh, start by burying the lead this is not your first dead body N- no uh-uh. but uh, if you want to plug your cd you can hear about the yeah the f- i have first a CD most out famous called, called hey sailor and um, you can find it on iTunes or buy it from me at Facebook. You can contact me. You have a legendary story when you worked as a porn clerk yes. at a porn shop. Hold on, go to the. You can go to the fate. You can go to our show page. Yeah, and you can. They'll put a link up there okay, for that. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Just as easy. I don't care. Yeah, just get it. It's funny. And it happened. And you have yeah. a famous story about finding a Fine. dead body in a jack-off booth mm-hmm. when you were at work. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was half a jack-off booth. So he was <laughs> stiff. What I'm no. saying is he, <laughs> he was actually a coffin. <laughs> it turned into a coffin. <laughs> what I'm saying is if the authorities are looking for motive. <laughs> I know. It's so weird. I keep finding these dead bodies everywhere. I feel like I'm the Angela Lansbury of lonely people. <laughs> I just keep murder she wrote and all these pieces of shit that That's I find. That's hysterical. <laughs> Put it in the Mamu file. <laughs> yeah. Why would they leave their cat outside? <laughs> well, okay, so... Oh my god, you guys! So I had you're this- living in Tucson now for the oh, yeah, last I couple live in of years. Tucson, this so, is recently. Yeah. Yes, it okay. just just happened. Um, I think a- well April, but it's still fresh to me. <laughs> like, real fresh. Uh, as fresh as this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Might be May. We put it out finally. <laughs> Oh God! I'm. I didn't kill her. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't think I would lead with that. But I didn't. But there's. Per- okay. Anyway, well, what happened was this was, is your neighbor. This is my neighbor. Um, she was um like crippled and kind of a pain in the ass. But I liked her. You know, I mean, when people are pissed off all the time because they can't get around, you know, you just. I'm nice to them because I, I get it. I know why they're assholes. So I just, I like, I know I would be too. So I'll, yeah. So when she called me up and she's like, I need you to give me five bottles of vodka. I can't handle it anymore. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'll help you. But I didn't get her five b- bottles of vodka. I got her, uh, uh, two half gallons. And, um, she made it through one half gallon that I know of because, Okay, so then the landlord comes by, and the landlord, this is like two weeks. I think that, I thought that I'd seen her on Facebook or something, but it turns I, I, out I somebody just else slow had. You up. When you say uh, the landlord, her landlord? Her, or, it's she, ours. She's her. in the casita behind us. You okay. know, like how two sounds it's like, like, is it like one I'm, big building? Or no, no, no. Like it's, a bunch like a, of it's like little, two It's, it's like two a little houses. house in the main house. Yeah, it's a little like house a bunch in the main of, house. So you guys all share a parking lot, kind we, of. Yeah, we like, sh- well, we share. She's Her parking lot's the alley. We share a yard. Great. In the back, right? So you're, all, you're, you're neighborly. It's a little she house. She's a neighbor, house. yeah. That's why she asked you for five gallons of wine. <laughs> yes, and I. Yeah, instead of a cup of sugar. Exactly. Well, because she knows how I roll. Yeah. And that's why you would do that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um,. So I did, yeah, we got her some vodka or whatever because she was not feeling very well and she thought somehow that would fix it. I get it. So uh, then, but then we don't see, hear from her for a while, but I thought she, she would go through these phases where she would be a real pain in my ass and want a lot of stuff. And then all of a sudden, radio silence. 
maybe she got her meds or something and she's like, or maybe she knew that I wasn't up for it anymore. I only want to talk to you when I need you. Exactly. Yeah. So I was just like, all right. So she's cool. Um, anyway, then landlord, sh- our landlord shows up and he's like, Hey, have you guys heard from, J-? um, we haven't, heard- she's laid on a rent. She's never laid on a rent. And I was like, Oh my God. Now, now a few days earlier, um, my, <clears throat> a friend of mine had said, Hey, have you, have you heard from J-? or whatever? You should go check on her. And I said, listen, I'm on my way to the grocery store. I could go check on J-, and then I can't go to the grocery store. So how about I just check on later and I go to the grocery store right now? You know what I mean? Like you can, you Wait, can. Wait, you answered your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Ow! For, for somebody not you. Yeah, I did. He's calling <laughs> bullshit on the whole story. <laughs> no, no, no. By this <laughs> one detail. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't a phone. It, it actually wasn't a phone call. <laughs> it was in person. Anyway, the point is, is that I was like. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is that it it is that I didn't check on her because I didn't want to ruin my day when it came down to it, like three days earlier. I was like, I could have checked on her. But then I thought, listen, if she's dead, she is super dead because it's been like 10 days already. So why? Because you had to go to the grocery store. But what? But what's what good is it going to do if I find out now? So why interrupt my my life? Because then it's going to just throw everything all out of whack. I'm busy right now. I don't want to find out until I have to. Anyway, so then when landlord shows up and is like, hey, I haven't seen you. She hasn't paid her rent. I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it. This is the day. Okay. So I grab I'll the pay key. it. All right. That's right. <laughs> yes. Becker knows. Okay. You get it. So I, so I grab the key to her house. And what's weird is like two weeks earlier, she had just said, Hey, if, I, if something happens to me, I want, I hope you find me. Well, I guess kind of fucked Whoa. up. Yeah. <laughs> I said, that's fucked up. And she goes, well, you know, I'm not real in great health. And she goes, but I, I hope it's you that finds me because I know that you won't judge me. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> Judging. <laughs> no, <her. laughs> no, I, said, <laughs> but I, said, I knew I she'd say something just like that. <laughs> yeah. It's so Jill. <laughs> Uh, but I, I, but I did in a way know what she meant because she knows that I would like mostly care about her stuff and I would mostly do what she wanted with her stuff and her cats and whatever. And you're uh, like a body sniffing dog. <laughs> <laughs> after, after. No, I just keep, I am a cadaver dog. After you God talked about it. on a CD about rifling through a dead man's pockets. Okay. Well, here's where that comes in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's so, not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Whoa, 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 buddy. So, um, so she, anyway, so landlord says, she, yeah, I'm her from I grab the key. I go into the house and I immediately notice that like, it smells like cat poop or something. The cats have not been taken care of. And then I look on the floor and there's blood on the floor. One of the half gallons of vodka is still there. And I'm like, okay, good. She didn't drink both of them. Awesome. And then a couple other things that I got her from the grocery store were still out. So that means that to me, I immediately like, oh shit, she has not moved since I got her this stuff at the grocery store. How many days oh, has shit. this been? 14. Okay. It'd been two weeks. And it was yogurt. So sorry. And then. It can't yeah. go bad. It is bad. <laughs> it goes good. Born bad. You're uncultured, <laughs> You're uncultured yogurt. You're well, uncultured. so I, <laughs> so I am thinking maybe she's alive. Maybe she just forgot and she's, or she's just lazy. She doesn't want to put her stuff away. Um, and I, and, uh, See, so, bingo. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I go, Jill, Jill, oh, Jill. Okay. And I keep walking towards her bedroom and I go into her bedroom and I, uh, open the door. And of course she's purple and what, you know, modeled, modeled is the word. Yeah. And, um, I'd never seen anybody at that stage decomp. I watch a lot of CSI and she is just, she's decaying and the cat, her cat lifts his head up by her face and he's, <sighs> he's eating her fucking face. Ch- but Ch- Ch- I, just, Chili just retched. But what I found out later was that, yeah, cats will eat the face because that's the soft part. Like it's cheeks. Well, they scratch fever, but they eat the face. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. It's so. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, so so the cat is like e- eating her. And I'm like, okay, so they they have food. 
You know what I mean? I'm like going to like, okay, so Jill's dead. The cats have food. I go into like some kind of survival mode. And then I think, well, the cops aren't going to let me back here for a minute. So let me give the cat some water because they're obviously fine. What, what, when Meatwig brings live animals into the bedroom at six in the morning, I've, I've taught Chaley this now. What you do is you shake the bag of cat treats uh-huh. and he'll put it down and go uh-huh. for the treats and then you can let the thing out alive. <laughs> So, did you think, hey, if I get some cat <laughs> treats, he'll drop the face <laughs> No, and, and I, you can release it back into the wild? No, I just thought, they're already eating her, so what's, you know, what's a few more you, hours you, of that? You, you had no hope that she still might be alive? <laughs> no! Did you, hey, no. you watch a lot of CSI, did you check her pulse? <laughs> no! Did you, you do Did it. you do the thing where you put your fingers on oh her my neck? God. Did you fingerprint her? the cat? No. Did you take her jewelry? <laughs> She's one I mean, of the parents just, who can never say no. Uh, I do. If you want my eyelid. Oh, my God. <laughs> go ahead. Oh Sorry. Oh, my God, you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. So I, okay, so I go out and I call 911, but I'm, oh, no, no, I didn't call 911. I called non-emergency. You talked to him in I person. I hope you didn't talk yeah. to cops like this, because this is when they start going, <laughs> did you do this? No. Yeah, yeah no, we need I a didn't. search warrant for a Mamu residence. Yeah. You, you know what? Tester's I, stool. <laughs> <laughs> She eats like a cat. <laughs> Explain why her so eyelashes weird. are in your feces, Mamu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's she was purple. I never had a grape before. <laughs> you drank wine, yeah. and it seems like fourteen days would be a perfect <laughs> fermentation process. Oh, this is so gross. <sighs> but it makes me feel, you know, I want you to know something. To talk about this has been bothering me, and I wanted to talk to you guys because I know that you are my family, and I wanted to say. Oh, Chris what Hardwick happened, wouldn't happened, have happened. you on? Oh, what? I, <laughs> no, not I, you wanted me. <laughs> I would talk about this at the uh, like In N Out Burger drive thru. Like, oh, one more thing. I no, did. you gave me the right change, no. but you got to hear this. What an animal style. Becker. And uh, God, have you ever seen a cat Becker. eat eyelids? I met my son's girlfriend for the first time, and I tried to tell her all of this. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, hey. Harley, let me tell you what happened. And I just blurted it. Oh yeah, that's a anyway. good move. Mm. Go ahead, let it. Uh, so, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So right. I go. I call. I call not nine one one. I called the non emergency because I why. But then no hurry now. Because I know that from the last time, right? You don't call nine one one because they just want to give you shit. But they did say, well, how do you know if she's dead? Which is like the last fucking time they were like, how do you know he's dead? And like, because I tickled him, he didn't laugh. What kind of fucking what shit is that? Why are you saying why? How do I know he's dead? But I said, I said, well, she, because she's she's purple, and it's like been to, like it's been a couple weeks, I think, and she's really, really dead. And don't even send like don't alarms, please, no lights, no nothing. You don't need it. She's super dead. So the cops come and they are, and then I ask them, I go talk to the cops and I'm like, Hey, uh, what's going on there? Oh, well, there's a female, 50 some year old female in there. She's deceased. I'm like, Oh, no shit. You're a genius. Hey, did she yeah. tell you that I need my vodka back? <laughs> We're, getting no. into that. We're getting to that. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, buddy. Oh, sorry. So I, <laughs> I, um, I am like, okay, I know she's, I know. I, I, hi. Super dead. Yeah, she's real dead. So, um, they take their time and they do their little investigation and stuff. And I am not a suspect. I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and then they leave and then, um, they take the bo- her body away. And then, of course, then the hazmat guys are called and it's all a big deal. And then what are we going to do with their cats? And then ha- we- hazmat? Why hazmat? Okay. Okay. So it's a body, ha- it's a hazard, a biohazard because she, her blood had, or her, I don't know what it's it called. There's a there, meat. No, there's a there's a word for when it just cat seeps. treats. Yeah, <laughs> like it's juice. Temptation. Juice. Well, no, <laughs> if it's been a while, then there's it's decomposition so sets in. Yeah. So there, she's starting to liquefy. Yeah, she's liquefied. Yeah, so that's that's why because so they, they need to wrap her up. No manma. Yeah, and she's in the bed, but her hand was over on the side, and it's just drip, 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 drip. So, yes. Like a candle, and it's gross. In someone, the wind. And the someone smell. rented that room. <laughs> oh, god damn it! And the smell—I mean, the smell of a putrefied human—it's ah, oh, outrageous. It yeah, shouldn't exist. We've done triple gigs. We know her. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Kenny's back. He can throw up during this story. He just uh, walked in. So then, 
So then the hazmat guys, they, they come by the next day and I stop by and I offer them some iced tea because it's hot out. And are you guys doing okay? And they're getting on their little outfits, you know, their little jumpers and stuff. And, and then this one kid, Alex, you know, he starts talking to me and I tell him about Jill and I'm like, and then she had, she wanted vodka and I got her vodka and she drank it all. And I think she might have bucked her head and then she passed out. Maybe I killed her. I don't know. And I'm crying like an idiot. Alex, he's 22 years old, just doing this to get through college, cleaning up dead body shit to get through college. And he s- looks at me with all the kindness he can muster and wraps his har- arms around me. And I'm fat. I, if you can't see me, I'm a giant lady. And he, he's a little tiny boy and he just wraps his arm around me and he gives me the biggest hug. And I'm sobbing. I'm like, I don't know. I just, I, I, I hated her, but I loved her too. And then for, for the listener, when she says she's fat, She's on the third episode after boy with giant hands. Thank you. Lady with fucking yeah. giant face. You're on right now. I'm assuming yeah, as a, as an outrageous, like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm fat. So, so he's holding me. He's holding me. And, and I said, and I, and I said, I'm sorry. I'm crying. I'm sure you get this a lot. And he pulls away from me and he looks at me and he goes, no, never. <laughs> you what are you fucking kidding me nobody ever cries to you and he goes no i've been doing this for three years and no one's ever that's never happened before. <laughs> i was like well do they not hang around he goes well no they usually just start bawling like this <laughs> oh god damn it so I said, well, all right, I'm going to go get you. Would you want more ice for your damn iced tea, fucking Alex? Okay. <laughs> and I, Get your own ice, yeah, Alex. I just stomp off to my house and whatever. And then they clean it up. And then I go back in because now we have to get the cats out. And this is what I wanted to tell you guys because this is my favorite. Uh, uh, you just said this. This is where I caught the story already in progress here in the fun yes. house. And you go, no, this is the best part. And Becker says, uh, the cat eating the face was a pretty good part. <laughs> no, no. I love this next part. I go, this what? Part- Let's this- record this. Yeah. Cat ate the face. Okay, but this next part is my personal little gem. Because it is it is when you see a cat eating someone's your friend's face or neighbor's face, it is traumatizing. And I... I didn't know what to do with that. So then, okay, so we're having that Humane Society people come and pick up the cats. And they come and they set the cat traps out. And this Humane Society lady, she's so nice and loves, loves cats. Oh, I rescued 45 kittens this year and it's only April. Oh, you're (laughs) you're an angel. Who fucking cares? Anyway. How many did you spade and neuter? Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so she, yeah, she is, she's Mm. like... And then I talked to her a little bit about what the, why the cats need to be rescued. Their mom died. And so, and, and I, uh, oh, she was, oh, they were locked in here with her. And, and then she goes, well, they look pretty healthy. They sure haven't, she must, they must not have been in here for very long with her. And I looked at her and I go, two weeks. And she goes, huh? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no. And I was so happy. I laughed. I started, I was just dying laughing because I thought, now you know, somebody else has to know. The cats were eating her fucking face and I saw it. I saw it. Cats are finicky. They'll, they'll usually, (laughs) no, really, they are very picky when they eat. Usually they only eat nine wives. But I had to, like, I wanted to share it with her. It was killing me. That I just was like, no, they were eating her. I saw that. Take the, And would you adopt a fucking cat that you knew it had the taste of human flesh in its um, mouth? Oh, ah! Not without a shark cage. <laughs> <laughs> Becker is uh, from uh, Alaska, where if uh, a bear or, or a moose kills a, a jogger, yeah, they sh- hunt it down and kill it. But evidently not with cats. But the, I know. They, they were like, it's got oh, a pattern. Let's make these a pet. <laughs> let's rent them out to a, another old person. <laughs> yeah, you could use them. You could take Alex's job or whatever. <laughs> you could just let the cat finish up. <laughs> don't lick it clean. I've seen him do it. Oh, God. We don't want to call the hazmat guys. It's such a mess. And, just let the oh, cat like finish the job. A big hairball of an old lady's wig. <laughs> oh. oh, anyway, so I did forget to tell. So what I did do, I did. I mean, you guys were talk, tease me about yeah. stealing stuff. 
Well, I did get my other bottle of vodka back, of course. <laughs> and um, plastic and then- jug. So I yes, uh-huh. clink. really, yes. clink. clink, really. You have to ask Close to us. Yeah, of course it was. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I got my vodka back, and then I realized the cops didn't take her drugs, and so one lady got her fentanyl patches, and I got her what I thought were good drugs. Turns out they were just methadone, like a fucking common, like junky, gross. And so that's all I got out of it. Is this the fucking- not judging her part? <laughs> well. <laughs> I thought she she was all like, oh, I'm on opiates this whole time. And then I find out it's just methadone. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. We didn't she even find a vibrator. For magic beans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but those beans will get you high as a kite. <laughs> we actually did trade them. <laughs> wow. We, we keep unpeeling the onion. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I did it. I traded them. I, I got 25 methadones and I got 10 percent. Good trade. Good wow. trade. Uh, you know, because the drug dealer goes, oh, yeah, junkies love these. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were in a seller's market and you didn't even know oh, it. I, I had yeah. no idea, but I was, oh, I was angry in the moment. the exchange rate since Trump has become president. Yeah. I was angry in the moment, yeah. And uh, that's the end of that chapter. I mean, there's a little bit more where I, 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 I finally realize that there's, it's really not a big deal. I mean, just because... I don't find a rotting body every day. Doesn't mean that it's not a normal process. We're all going to turn into cat meat. So who cares? Like, right? Cat food. We're all, it doesn't matter. So that's how I, I quit having nightmares once I was like, you know what? Well, they're going to eat me too. Who gives a fuck? Uh, Over cat. your dead body. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, new morticians, cats. <laughs> I know, but the cats, would be, if they saw me, they'd be like, which part do we get? It's all, it's all juicy. Look, let's That's not, amazing. There's no reason for us to fight. There's plenty to go around. <laughs> That's why I thought you might be a suspect is because uh, a, a, a woman of a, a certain uh, size they, you get, uh, they cast aspersions on yes, you. Yes, that's right. And if there were no snacks in the refrigerator, <laughs> right. they go, may, oh, may, really? Have- you? Mm-hmm. You? <laughs> were you? But you did clear that up by saying there was rotting food on mm-hmm. the uh, counter. <laughs> You'd have gone for that first before a face. That's I've seen right. seen her work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was totally exonerated of any wrongdoing. Sean right. Rouse bit her first. Hey. <laughs> okay. That's true. <laughs> I, I was uh when we would after high school we would be surfing out in uh Tower Five in Huntington Beach. This is our spot. And this guy would come out that I didn't really know his name was Craig Paparo. And I didn't know until that day that he paddled out that he worked as the guy who picked up the bodies. Oh geez. as a coroner, he would pick up the bodies. He he paddled out into the surf in Huntington Beach. And out of his wetsuit, he pulled a Ziploc baggie. Took 10 guys that mm-hmm. we all went to high school together. And these were the brains that he scraped off of a fucking a, a crime scene the mm. night before. And he's like, yeah, they don't check for everything kind of thing. <laughs> and it's like, what? You, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. But it, yeah. like your your guy, your guy yeah. who shows up and put it on things like just another day, you yeah. know, punching exactly. the clock. It's, it's yeah. the same as uh, you know, pedophiles take jobs where they can work with kids. Yeah. Psychos <laughs> take yeah. jobs where they can scrape uh, brains off. Yeah, but of course he had an easy out on that one because nobody checks the ceiling fan. <laughs> that, he yeah. got this off the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, he's supposed to go in there and get everything he can, uh-huh. but. No one fucking cares because when no. they're done, they just leave. And he's like, ah, "What are they gonna?" Do? Yeah. Wait a minute. Where'd you get the Ziploc? <laughs> Did you raid the? Yeah. Go, I'll be right back and take a leak. And he goes yeah. in the kitchen. And it's like rifle. Eat your boiled egg. Oh. Grab the Ziploc. Yes, like, they're gonna go to here. waste. Yeah. Make yourself at home. <laughs> the dead body that you found. That you, uh-huh. you you robbed the dead body at the porn store. In the porn store, I always feel like I have Portland. to take something. Remember, get Christine Levine's CD mm-hmm. called Thanks, "Hey baby. Sailor." Just Google it and find it. It's Christine with a K. I think I'm the victim. Get that here. cat out of here! <laughs> get that cat out of here! <laughs> here, give me that cat. Bring that cat over. <laughs> I'm feeling <laughs> sleepy. Who put <laughs> some in my drink? Okay, watch. <laughs> watch. Will you get me I, vodka? Hang on, hang on. I was, I was thinking if this was on video, if we ever got that done. 
Meet me. Here, come here. Watch. Will this cat oh, eat baby. me? Come here. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hang you don't on. taste good when you're living, babe. Oh, You've got to get on. a little on. sauce on you. Get it. Come yeah. on. You know yeah. you're going to bite it. <laughs> come on. You always do this. What are you? Are you no, nervous? he's shy. God damn it. He just, he gnaws on my fingers like it's a tit. No, oh, no, so he's he already. Your teeth. He, he licks, he licks your, your teeth. Oh, he licks my teeth, but oh he yeah. eats dead bodies too. <laughs> hey, watch it. This cat has the taste of plaque. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I was saying, uh, you get your uh, Hey Sailor CD. Oh, I, I was going to close by saying, you stole how much from the dead body that you found first when you stole from his wallet before you called the cops? $35. Thirty-five dollars. Wait, and then think- I split it seventeen fifty for me and seventeen fifty with the c- other clerk that I was working with, who is too chicken shit to come look at it. It pissed me off so bad, but I still gave him money. Oh, how gotta, how hush magnanimous! Money. We call it no, hush money. Th- th- when I worked at yeah, a real, hush money. I worked at Real Networks. I was like, uh, I was in this division. That Why was does Kaylee like just- keep trying to close on his own stories when I'm trying to get to a fucking closer? <laughs> I'm done. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he just shut. Oh, oh, I knew you were no. going to do that. Oh no! He just got a nasty email that he forwarded to me about how our podcast sucks and why does he even talk? And, oh, that's stupid. Uh, it just, it's just, just a Say whole a load mess. of nastiness. <laughs> Mm-mm. Well, now it's never going to get out because we've upset Greg. No, it's over. I know. Of course. <laughs> well, I do hand signals of, hey, I'm trying to wrap this up. $35 mm-hmm. you got from the corpse. Yes. And then- uh, His name was Andrew. And then a half gallon of vodka and uh, 10 Percocets. Yes. In today's money, Mm -hmm. do you think that you're progressing as a professional body finder? Are you making more now? Let me see. How much is 10 Percocets? Is it 10, 5, huh? 100 bucks. Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think good. I'm 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 up with uh, with um inflation. I'm doing great. All right, good. Yeah, like ten milligrams, ten ten. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm doing great, babe. Hmm. I don't know that though. Where can they find you? Uh, usually on Twitter. I like Twitter mostly. Which is at uh, at Christine Levine with a K. Christine Levine. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, babe. It's a oh, pleasure God, to I'm have disgusting. you back down here at the fun house. <laughs> I I'm miss sorry, you. uh, <gasps> oh! the cat just God bit her. It! The cat just bit her. It's just because I'm juicy. Let's let's close on cat scratch fever just for fun, because that just happened. <laughs> Don't know where to come from, but the show do come. I hope they're coming for me. Don't know how to do it, but the show do it good. I hope they're doing it for free. I got my cat scratch.